Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester here with another beginner's guide with Conan Exiles and now I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player and today we're going to talk about the dismantling bench and what it does and the things it does you may not realize. So let's get right to it, it's right behind me here, now you can get this in your feet. So we'll go into our feats and we will scroll over to survivalist and then down to stone tools and it is right here. Now it does require a level 37 to get this recipe plus you have to have the prerequisite of the forge and the steel pick. Now it takes 100 brick to make and 38 insulated wood and uh, yeah this thing is extremely useful. Uh, let's open it up and talk about what it can do. Now, uh, first of all, in this dismantling section here, it has 250 slots, yeah, for items. And uh, it can be used for storage. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this. And uh, so the things that it cannot be dismantled, you can leave them right in there because you've got a lot of room. And plus, uh, yeah, great storage. And uh, it also has... 40 slots here in the inventory yeah which is a lot and it, it actually has a storage capacity that's equal to the vault yeah a lot of people don't know that so uh yeah what exactly can you put in this and what does it dismantle well it will dismantle weapons and armor from your crafting section but it will also now dismantle some legendary uh, weapons and armor and I say some because there are some that it will not do for whatever reason now it will also dismantle building pieces saddles paddings tools traps um, orbs uh, but this is all at a cost of course it will not give you back what it took to make it yeah <laughs> that's the unfortunate part about it but at least you get something and uh, so whenever you're out venturing especially if you have your bearer and yeah pick up all the armor that's dropped especially star metal once you get up north um, because you can recover a lot of that so let's plop in a few things and see what we get here now i have a veneer heavy pauldron which i can make in my crafting section so i'm just going to plop that in there and as you can see on the right hand side down to the bottom in the crafting cache it's dismantling that so for this piece of armor i'm going to get five steel bar back for that yeah pretty cool and let's also put in uh, a legendary piece of weapon so we're going to pop in the silent legion uh, chest piece and let's see what we get back for that now this is one of the legendary weapon or armors that it will dismantle and look at that i got four star metal bars back and two black ice yeah very nice now i have another piece of legendary armor in here and this is the tacit of the sobek so let's plop that in there and as you can see it's not going to dismantle this for whatever reason yeah so uh, it's a chance you can plop it in there and see if it'll work or not uh, but if it doesn't um, just leave it in there and you can sort through later and decide what it will and won't do so I also have a horned heavy plated helmet which is a legendary helmet so we're going to plop that in there and see it's dismantling this helmet and for that we are going to get two hardened steel for that yeah so uh yeah try your armor see what what each one will do and as I've showed you before with the relic hunter uh, armor this is a good way to get silk because this is what this will reduce this to so let's check that how many pieces of we got three pieces of silk for that one piece of armor so yeah another great way for that now we also can throw in a saddle the warhorse saddle so if you've made one by mistake don't throw it away <laughs> just plop it in here and you will get some of your materials back again you don't get everything but you'll get some of them back. So I got eight hardened steel bar and two steel reinforcements back for that. Yeah. 
So then you can put traps in there as well. Now this is an exploding trap. So let's pop that in there and see what we get for that. All right, so we got back, not the poison it took to make it, but we did get back the iron bar for making that. And the same goes with your fish traps. You can also plop those in there and we'll plop in the, the uh, shellfish trap as well. And we will get something for those. As you can see, we got the resin and vine for that. That was for the fish trap. And then the shellfish trap is going to give us the same thing, yeah. Now what it will not do also is arrows. It will not dismantle any arrows that I know of. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, now the padding, it will. So you'll get back those materials or some of those materials that it took to make the padding. Yeah, so I got back six of the thick leather, yeah. Now obsidian tools, you will get the obsidian from those which is very nice. And this is a, a crafted weapon. So we got back five of the composite city obsidian for that. Now I'm gonna plop in this great ax of the Legion, which is a legendary weapon. And I spawned all these in by the way, so don't freak out that I've <laughs> taken these really good legendary weapons and dismantling them. Yeah, I did it for the purpose of this. Yeah, so in here we got Eldarium. Now, I do believe that is a Isle of Sipta. Yeah. And then we got the Hammer of the Whale. We'll plop that in. And as you can see, that's not going to dismantle that weapon. Yeah. So, uh, again, it's a, it's a hit and a miss with that. And also, it will dismantle tools. Now, do I have any tools in here? I have a pickaxe here. So, we're going to throw that in. Of course, it's going to dismantle tools as well and it will dismantle these truncheons it will also dismantle this iron leg hold trap we can put that in there that's going to work we have some legendary uh, blades here it's going to dismantle those uh, it's also going to dismantle this star metal pickaxe so you'll get your star metal back some of it for that yeah but it will not dismantle this legendary black blood hatchet. Yeah, unfortunately. Now, the other nice thing is these uh, fire orbs. Now, you can pick up a lot of these. Uh, actually, you pick up more than these, the gaseous orbs, than you do fire orbs. And uh, this is interesting. I'll throw that in there. I'm going to get those two in. And we'll see what this drops. So for this, I'm going to get the mushrooms it took, or some of them, and the water orb. So I'm going to pick up this water orb that it dismantled it to. Let's split this again. Oops. I'm going to throw that in there. And look at that. It's dismantling that as well. Yeah, and it's going to reduce that to ichor and the water filled glass flask. Yeah. So you can get a couple of materials for picking up those and throwing them in there. Yeah. And I have quite a few here. If you throw in one of these tar, you are going to get, I believe it's tar and the water orb. Yeah. See that? Only one, but it's better than nothing. Then, uh, of course, if you have building pieces, so we'll throw the building piece in, and this is a black ice reinforced wooden wall. So we pop that in. And that's gonna give us the materials that it took to do that. Not everything again, but some. And I did have some insulated wood fence, and it's gonna dismantle that for me. Now this is interesting. This is just a loincloth. And it has an armor value of one, but it will not dismantle it, <laughs> yes, which is, is just, I don't know. <laughs> I can't tell you why it should. It's a very basic, you know, piece of armor, but no. 
uh, it may be because it, 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 you know, it came on a thrall. I don't know. So, yeah. In any case, guys, you need to get this bench. Yeah. If you're out venturing, especially with your bear who, who can carry a lot, yeah, by all means, grab all these things, bring them back to this dismantling bench and throw them in there, no matter what you've got, because even if it doesn't dismantle it, it's a huge, huge storage place. So, yeah. Well, all right, guys, if you found this helpful, please give me that big old like, and if you'd like to see more, just subscribe, and if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, again, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, GG out.